All right, YouTube. It's a little video I'm putting up on my uh, home stereo system in my living room downstairs. Um, a lot of these components I've had over the years, and I've changed them out, pieced different things together. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, show you what I got going on here. You'll notice mounted on the front walls here is an Acoustic Research flat panel stainless steel 5.1 system. I went ahead and uh, spaced them out the best I could with what I had to work with here. You know, you got a, a built-in wall cabinet, you got the front window and the door. So the rule of thumb is you want to have your speakers uh, equal distance apart as your listening seat uh, to the speaker. So if you have a distance of 20 feet from you to the speakers, you want uh, 10 feet between or 20 feet between them, 10 feet to the center channel. So you have 10 feet there. And 10 feet there. I pieced them out the best way I could. This is a pretty small room. And uh, I used to have a set of acoustic research towers that were right here. And I have those in storage right now. Just are they're, they're physically too large for the room. And I, I rarely sit down here anyway. Um, so I went ahead and went with those. And I'll open up the cabinet here. I have a built-in wall cabinet. And the largest TV I could fit in here would be a 42-inch. You can either go plasma or LCD. I went an LCD projection because you got the depth in there and you saved a little money. And I got hooked up here. This is the quite a bit older. It's about, gosh, or at least 15 years old now. The Kenwood VR2080. All stainless steel. And then a matching 200 disc changer. And of course, just a five disc DVD player and a single single disc Samsung Blu-ray player. And then I have here a uh, computer hooked up running a program called Boxy that allows me to control the computer with my iPhone or my iPod Touch rather and uh, stream Netflix and uh, look at YouTube videos and all that stuff just by controlling it uh, with my, my iPod which is kind of nice. Eventually I'll have a one of those small handheld Bluetooth keyboards make it a little easier, but it works fine for now. And of course the TV. And because the room is a little bit difficult and I didn't I didn't plan ahead, I wanted to put some in-wall rears out here, but I went ahead and wired up a set of uh, leftover speakers I had. You know, like I said, it's not it's not the best. It's a they're a set of Phillips. So I have them pointed directly at the rear listening position. And on the side here, I wasn't able to actually do anything on the wall here. I didn't want to have any wires ran up there or, or a clunky speaker hanging on the wall. Eventually, what I will do is pull up the uh, molding there and put some in-walls or some in-ceiling speakers up in these locations. I haven't decided yet, but it's like I said, I don't sit down here too often, so it's not too critical. In the meantime, I mounted the rear um, the same... Phillips speakers here for the rear uh, left surround under the couch pointed at the wall and I have them cranked up as far, as high as they'll go, they go and they actually reflect off this wall and you really don't notice much of a difference uh, of course if you're a real audiophile I'm sure you'll you'll make a few nasty comments about that but uh, you know just wanted to share my system I'm pretty happy with it it sounds really good uh, these acoustic research speakers are some of the best ones I've heard uh, even compared to my my AR10s, which were $1,300 a pair, um, and that was a, that was a deal. I mean, Crutchfield sold those things for about $1,500, um, and they're they're fantastic sounding speakers. Uh, but you know, these ones are real nice. They're off the wall. They're off the floor. They're out of the way, and uh, you know, they sound they sound really really good. They're very comparable. And of course, last but not least, I went ahead and wired in a. I have two subwoofers here wired together, both with 100 watt amp power in them. One's an, one's an 8, and the other one, I believe, is a 10. And I know you lose a little signal quality by splitting the line, but it's not enough to matter. Uh, I have these things turned all the way down, and it's more than enough bass to shake the walls. And of course, I got a disco ball back there, and I have a laser down there in the floor. So when you want to crank up some Pink Floyd, you got the you got a, a very modest uh, little laser show, and there's a black light in the window there. So I hope you like my video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me.